What is up guys and welcome to another video. So I did a mukbang this morning and um, it's already 20 minutes long so for sure this is not going into this video but I do enjoy making those mukbangs for you so I make just a two part cheat day like um, a few weeks back but today I want to bring back something really special. It is 10.30 and in about half an hour we're going to pick up some special donuts and I'll be eating them in the car for you. <laughs> because it's bright and I didn't do it because it wasn't bright enough in the morning until like 8.30 and I usually start early because of filming and all this stuff. But I'll bring that back for you. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you those special cronuts from Royal Donuts and I hope you enjoy this video. And um, the mukbang is gonna be out in a few days. And let's get this video started. Get ready for some donuts in the car. I'm happy to bring those back. I'm definitely gonna bring them back, but like I said, it was too dark. on the side of a road because I wanted to make it a comeback for the donut car session however you want to call it I hope the steering wheel is not in the way yeah I didn't pick up just any donuts from Royal Donuts I actually picked up vegan cronuts I picked up vegan cronuts they're the only people I know in Germany they make cronuts in the first place and then they made this vegan dough which rises like crazy and it's now available for you guys so uh, just let them know one day before and they'll make custom make cronuts for you and super thank you to Royal Donuts for creating these and giving me these in a pink box that's so cool and we have six different flavors I hope they said they're all at least thousand calories I hope not <laughs> but we're going to try the first one, which rose, I think it's a peanut butter, no, it's a hazelnut cream Krona. And they said I shouldn't eat it in the car, but I really wanted to bring it back, so let's try this. So fluffy. Mm -hmm. Wow. The hazelnut cream with this dough is just amazing. Amazing. Now, I wish I had water. <laughs> that was fantastic. I love this. Um, next is a panna cotta with a brownie on top. Can we talk about how thick this thing is? I hope I can eat them all. That's really good. Very messy. You gotta eat this top part first. Mm. 
Is that what you guys want it? They are very filling for sure. And this one is just massive. Look at this. This is just crazy. To take off the top part. I don't know how to... I don't know how to... Oh, shit. Oh. Apple filling. crazy it tastes exactly like normal croissant dough I think they use some special kind of margarine Very messy for sure, but very, very good. A little more filling too. I wanna try the down half of this with Nutella and then I'll take the rest home and eat them later. Mm. Because um, I need some water for the rest of this. Yeah, you definitely will be seeing me eating the rest of those. Very delicious. Only place in Germany that makes don't that makes cronuts, and they're vegan too. It's crazy. I can't taste. I don't care so much if it's vegan or not, but it is vegan, which is crazy because it tastes exactly like normal dough. But um, we have some wet wipes. Yes. I already made a mess, but I see you at home, and I hope you enjoyed this car part. One debt to society later. All right, guys, we made it back to the kitchen with some water. And um, I'm going to have the rest of this Corona that I took apart. I'm not the biggest fan of marshmallow fluff, but you know what? We're going to try this. It's with Nutella. Wow. That's really good. The marshmallow fluff actually works well. It's good. It's definitely more filling than a donut. And you have to like the flakiness. But to me, I really enjoy these. They're very hard to make too. I'm telling you, water is life. Now we take the break. A few moments later. Guess who I brought back? My mama! Hello! Hello, Hello everybody! You yeah. all again. You all asked for her, so I told her to come back and she's gonna try some cronuts with me. You saw mm. me eating those before in the car, but now I'm gonna explain to you what it is. Okay. It's basically... They are big. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> they're fluffy. Um, fluffy. Croissant dough. Okay. Also Blätterteig. Yeah. And um, filled with here with some chocolate and here with um, cookie dough, also cakes type, as Okay. 
Exactly. So, um, yeah, there. But you will help me. I'll help you. Okay. I'll cut this in half. I already had a few, so you have to take the bigger. Otherwise, you, you can half, uh, half the half. <laughs> Maybe. And I take the other one for this afternoon. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah. I'm gonna quarter it. I'm sorry. No, it's oh, that's no problem. So we can. Falling apart. It's a malt okay. piece like yeah. this. Yes, it's great. Okay, so this is okay. cookie dough. It's filled with cookie dough. I'll show you real quick. Is it apple or was it? In, what is it? Uh, um, it's cake steak. No, oh, that's before. Oh, um, cookie dough. Oh. Cake steak. Whatever it is, cook it on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Oh, a kick steak. Es para kick steak. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, yeah. Mm, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's better than the cookie dough I made. <laughs> it's really good. Mm. It's great. It's fluffy. Can you serve a coffee or something? Like you want to... No, no, that's fine. I'm just You kidding. want a coffee? I can make you coffee. No. Just kidding. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's a little bit messy. Mm -hmm. You like the cookie dough? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to put this to the side. Oops. And this one, I'm going to show you real quick. This is dark chocolate. So I saved this one because I know Mama. Likes dark chocolate. chocolate. Loves dark. It's with Toblerone mm. on top too. If it's with the Matterhorn, <laughs> be sure. <laughs> this is messy. Like it's hard to. Oh. This. Never mind. What's this? This is um, Kinder Bueno. It's like <laughs> falling, falling apart. Mm. Really. Mm -hmm. But here you can have this and this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this. No, there's, I think there's chocolate in between. Chocolate and chocolate and mm -hmm. chocolate, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something new like yeah. Mm -hmm. Very much. Mm -hmm. If it's chocolate, I can Dark chocolate, um, right? Dark chocolate, you know. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of dark chocolate. But you have me for this. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, I think the cookie dough and the uh, one with the hazelnut cream was the best. I had three others. One with yeah, such big ones. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's one with hazelnut cream, not Nutella, but hazelnut, mm -hmm. set homemade. Very good, delicious. And then I had one with um, apple sauce, also apple mm -hmm. sauce. Mm -hmm. Very good, very fruity. And one um, panna cotta um, with a cream and some berry sauce. And then one with Nutella. Wow. wow. Yeah. So now I'm really stoked. You must be full now. I am. I'm pretty full, yeah. They're filling. They're more filling mm -hmm. than... Do you like those? It's good. It's different, right? It's different. It's good, yeah. Something else. I put them. You take put them? it up and yeah. yeah. Uh, I take them, yeah. I put it in a bag and take it with me. Yeah, make it work. <laughs> this often. Uh, one, one bite. Yeah. One, one more bite. I can make you coffee. Come, I make you coffee, Mickey. I make you mm. some coffee because I know you need your coffee with your chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want a strong coffee? No. Okay. I give you a medium. Good, right? Another bite. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mom. <laughs> yeah, it's um, mm. it's so it's it's nice. It's fluffy mm -hmm. and the filling makes it moist. Mm -hmm. Without the filling, it would be too dry. Mm -hmm. You have to have filling, right? With the yeah, yep. mm -hmm. you would suffocate with that. <laughs> yeah, it's just that's how the dough is. The, the croissant dough is just yeah. dry, dry dough. So you want to definitely. Yeah, here you can see. It's yeah. A, uh, just it's, another bite? Yeah, just, just, <laughs> a, just another, maybe another after that, but then you're done. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, my mom has a little work. She is um, gonna drink her coffee, and I'll be back later. I'm full right now, so I'll take a little break. Yeah, bye. I see think you. That's um, good idea, yeah, right? A good idea. <laughs> Very good idea. Bye. See you later. Uh, soon. Boon. Soon. <laughs> see you soon. Genau. Uh. All right, guys. It has been a little while, 
And I wanted to do something unconventional, what I haven't done, I think, in forever or in a long time. I just wanted to make myself some sandwiches with my favorite thin sliced bread. My dad just went to this deli place where he buys really quality, high quality foods. And yeah, I'm, I'm just, you know, I need something salty uh, in my life. I had so much sweet stuff, so I'm going to... Put some butter on this bread, and this is like polo tomato. It's like a chi chicken in a, a tuna sauce with um, pickles in it, and it's so fantastic. I love it, and uh, I haven't had this in so long. And that's what I'm gonna put on my first slice of bread. I'm just gonna eat it like this. Mmm, so good. Napkin. Another one. <laughs> we the best music. The next one is also like this, they call it salads. It's like, you know, I don't know how you call this. It's like a Russian salad, I don't know. It's um, pineapple, oranges, chicken, mushrooms, and like this creamy sauce. It's really, really good. It's, even though it's like very fatty, it feels, it tastes refreshing because of the fruit in it. And it's so good. So this is my next. Mm. All right, next one is going to be, I think I had this before, spreadle, sp ooh, spreadable meat pate. Yeah, I'm going to have that and I think I'm gonna put some pickles on it. There's nothing better. From this place where my dad get it, gets it from, makes it fresh. So it is super delicious. I'm sorry, this is all a little bit messy in front of the camera. The only thing I don't like about pickles is like when you touch them or when you eat them, you smell like them. Um, I like pickles, but I don't want to smell like pickles. But yay. Yeah. I just love high quality food. Yeah, this is what I used to eat for breakfast sometimes. <laughs> but um, seven of these slices, so we're at number four. Next up is a really, really good cheese that I just love. It's something between, um, it's called Cosena, Cosenoa, I think. And it's between soft and hard, and it's just really, really tasty. I'm, I like, um, I hate goat cheese, but I like most um, cow cheese, and I like um, sheep cheese. And I'm always, Putting some apricots jam or marmalade or however you want to call it on it gives it like a sweet touch. Yay! Oh, so good. I think that's very European what I'm doing. Mm. I'm telling you, some good cheese.
so good. I think I'm gonna have two more and then I will have to walk Reese's, then I'll have to take a little food break. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with the polo tornato and the chicken and tuna cream. Yee. I think I'm going to pause it here. I'm comfortable now. I uh, don't want to force myself eating something. I just want to enjoy myself. So I'm done. I'm taking Reese's out and um, I'll be right back. 8.01 p.m. All right, guys, it has been a few hours and this table is messy, but I want to eat ravioli. And last time, I don't know why a lot of you guys got mad because I ate ravioli out of the can and cold. And to me, that's just a childhood classic and I love it. But this time, because so many of you got upset, I'll actually put it in a plate and warm it up for you guys. So let me do this and I'll be right back with you. The ravioli are heated up and in a plate. And since ravioli is a very boring food to eat, by the way, I need to cover this sweater. It's Nate's sweater. And tomato sauce doesn't go well on sweaters. So, anyways, because ravioli are a lot like a boring food to eat, I'm going to answer some funny questions I found on the internet. Oh, that's so good. What is the sexiest and least sexy name? Least sexy name in English, because German names are not very sexy. Hmm. I don't know, in English I find like a lot of names are, are sexy. It's hard. I think... Honestly, I don't really know. I don't know, this is hard. And a sexy name, there's a lot of sexy names. I find... Dave, David. Okay. I like David, the name David. Uh, it's my brother's name. I don't know, there's a lot of good names. This question's hard for some reason. What is something that everyone looks stupid doing? Smoking. I think it just looks stupid. No matter how good looking you are, male, female, doesn't matter. Look stupid. Hmm. <laughs> If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? <laughs> Cats. Cats. Cats would be the rudest because they're smart as well. Like, I think crocodiles, but they're dumb. So I would say cats. They would have the enough intelligence to proper properly insult you. What's the weirdest thing you have seen in someone else's home? A book? Like you know these fancy art books of breasts. I don't know where it was, I don't remember, but this is what comes to my mind. <laughs> if you were arrested with no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? Tax evasion? I don't know. 
Definitely no violent crime. But yeah, <laughs> maybe tax evasion. Now this video is safe and then I'm gonna get actually arrested just because I said that. All right, I'm done with the raviolis, but I'm gonna answer one last question, which is actually really funny. Here's the question, where is the strangest place you've um, defecated or urinated? So me personally, I didn't, but this would have been part of my mukbang story, which is for that very reason I didn't want to tell because it's kind of gross, but my brother got the flu, he got sick in South Africa. And he got so bad to the point where he had to stand in the shower because all holes were open and he couldn't turn fast enough on a on the toilet. So he went to the hospital because he was feeling horrible. There, a nurse gave him these sample, uh, one of these sample cups where you're supposed to give a ur urine sample. You know, you have to pee in it and then they test your urine. And my brother didn't know at the point at that time what she wanted from him, so he shit in it. <laughs> and apparently the face the nurse made when he handed it back to her, and she looked at it, she looked at my brother, and went, "What the hell is this, right?" And he was confused because he was sincerely trying to, you know, do this and shit in this fucking cup because he had diarrhea. So. Yeah, he didn't know better. He thought maybe they wanted to test my poo. I don't know. But she was, I think that day she quit her job. It was so funny. My brother saw, thought it was funny too. So, yeah, that was a quick side story. Done with the raviolis. I might be back for dessert a little later. And I miss Nate.